Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Well, that was fun. Not. As I said, the idea is to spray every plant and according to the instructions with this chemical it doesn't need to absolutely soak the whole plant so basically I haven't moved any of the plants I've left them where they were now the only problem with that was those couple of shelves are quite high up so I got a chair to stand on and knock that poor plant down and I think I might have damaged that new growth it seems a bit wobbly we'll have to wait and see <laughs> you know there's always a cost but um, look at the mess. Look at my glass. It's absolutely smothered in the stuff. Uh, well, it's tough. I mean, obviously, once I've done a couple of these sprays, I can spray the glass with clean water and it'll just dissolve it and wash it down to the floor, where in here, that's relatively harmless. Um, well, certainly it is for now, with nobody coming in here except me, and I only stand in the middle, and that's not where it's gonna go. So. All the pots have been sprayed on the grounds that um, they've all been recently watered. They will all have moisture at the roots. I know I've missed the odd leaf here and there. And I'm going to have some residual marks on some of the leaves, you know, the sort of white patches. Now you know what sort of things you've got on your plants when you go out to a nursery or somewhere and you buy them. And the leaves have all got, like, whitish watery marks on them. It's chemicals, mate. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and you shouldn't be getting it on your hands. You know, if you get a plant with residue like that on the leaves, give them a wash off with some clean water and a little cotton wool pad and get them nice and clean and then dispose of your little cotton wool pad carefully because you don't even know what it is if it's come from a nursery. So take great care. The only change of plan was that my mounts got watered yesterday morning. Therefore today they are in their last stages of drying out. And as this stuff said, make sure the roots are moist, I've decided not to do the mounted orchids. There's another very good reason. If I water them where they are, they're gonna drip on me. No, that's not what I want. I don't want the stuff on me. So what I'll do tomorrow morning is I'll take the mounts down, I can water them individually, and then individually spray them allow them to drain, you know, to sort of drip, and then put them back up where they don't drip on me. So, as I say, the mounts didn't get done, they'll get done tomorrow, so none of the vanders got done, and everything that's up on these, you know, high racks, the mounted stuff, basically. The only one that did get done was this one, because it was down here, and I felt the moss, and it is still damp. So, there we go. That's number one spray done, and at the prescribed interval, they're all going to get it again, and I'm hoping two sprays will do it, because I don't want this stuff out here like this. I mean, it's made a hell of a mess. I'll have to... Oh, oh heater's kicked off. Yeah, as prescribed, I pushed the thermostat up, so the heater's kicking in. Um, that'll kick on and off as, as required. It introduces that high-level circulating fan at the same time. That one's on the go. The air should be reasonably warm in here and moving all the time, or virtually all the time, because um, the you know the temperature outside is quite low. The heater's going to come on every ten minutes or so, maybe less, to get it up to the temperature I've just set it to. It's far too warm for this time of year, but it's got to be done. I need to dry everything off, and um, so nice moving air with a bit of warmth in it should make sure that this stuff is not lying in any crevices or in any crowns when we get into the colder night temperature tonight. I don't know how cold it's gonna be, it's not gonna be freezing, but you know, it's still gonna reduce down overnight. So, <clears throat> stage one done, and hopefully no harm done. One thing I haven't mentioned, um, this is quite a, um, it's the sort of chemical that you can use on an awful lot of stuff. You know, it's, there's a list of crops that it's suitable and stuff like that. I, I possibly debate that because the crops would be out in the open air and I wouldn't use this stuff out in, in the big bad world outside of this glass, personally. I wouldn't do that. But nonetheless, you know, it's, it's available to spray an awful lot of plants. But, no, that's the other fans kicking in again. See what I mean? You know, we've got two large circulating fans plus the fan on the heater and the fan on the air cleaner. They're all on the go. So the air's going to move about. It's very buoyant in here 
and, and reasonably warm. So this stuff's going to just, um, most of it will, it's already absorbed into the plants in most cases because they were pretty wet. Um, so the idea is to spray the rest tomorrow. But the fact that this is available for a general range of plants does not mean I might lose an orchid. You know, some of my very weak orchids that are only just hanging in there, this might be their last straw, but it's just a risk I've got to take. You know, I'm fed up with the bugs, so it's a risk I'm prepared to take in my grow room with my orchids. And if I lose a couple at the expense of destroying all the bugs in here in, you know, a couple of foul swoops, it's a risk that I'm prepared to take. Any orchid can be replaced at the end of the day. There's nothing in here that is incredibly rare. There's nothing in here that I couldn't replace if I had to. So uh, that's where I am. Mess everywhere. Oh God, it looks awful in here at the moment. Can't see out of the windows. They're all covered in the spray. When it's mixed up, it turns to like a, a milk. And it's actually quite a thick mix. I mean if I'd sprayed water on these plants they'd still be soaking wet but this stuff is like a milky substance and obviously it's it, it, I would say it's got things added to it to allow it to be absorbed into the plants fast you know because if it didn't get absorbed fast a lot of it would just evaporate and it's not going to do its job is it so uh, I'm hoping that's how it works so there we go um, stage one I didn't like doing it. I don't like looking at the results. It's made the place look flipping awful. But in my book, in my grow room, I believe it just had to be done. I've had enough. That took me less than 10 minutes to spray every pot in this grow room. Yeah? When I'm watering, if for instance my watering was gonna take an hour, I'd almost double that time faffing around with the other type of spray, the soapy wash, and trying to make sure I get in all the crevices and messing around. It was using a lot of my time trying to keep on top of these bugs, and I wasn't winning. Well, hopefully this is the winning shot. And if it isn't, the next shot's gonna back it up. Okay, thanks for dropping by, and take care with your chemicals. Look after yourself and all those around you, <clears throat> and all our important creatures. Yeah, look after our world. Okay, see you next time.